guys, Rob 46 here, welcome yourselves to MXGP3. I've literally just loaded the game up, hence why uh, it's starting right now. Um, obviously it's the first MXGP game powered by the Unreal Engine 4. So it's going to be interesting to see what it looks like, what it plays like, what it sounds like. And this is actually the f first ever MXGP game that I've actually got. I've played the demos of the first two games. Didn't really float my boat, didn't really like how the bike's felt or handled but I've uh, been keeping half an eye on MXGP3 and uh, yeah looking forward to seeing what this is like so hopefully fingers crossed it's going to be good so we get all this out the way okay I'm assuming the first thing we're going to have to do is create a rider just like every other game what do you say? Right, MXGP3, the official motocross video game. Okay, let's do this. Oh, here we go, here comes our rider. Okay, let's, uh, I'll speed this bit up because you guys don't want to be watching me fucking write my name and uh, sorting all this stuff out, so we will speed this up just for the uh, the process of the video. Obviously it's pretty standard stuff, just doing your nickname and all that, your font, your riding number, your nationality, skin tone, do our number. I'm going to go for our number 13. And that's pretty much it as we uh, do our team name as well. Team Nyao is making its way to uh, MXGP. And now we've got to pick a bike manufacturer. Okay, so we've got quite a few to choose from. Honda, Husqvarna, Kawasaki, KTM, Suzuki, TM and Yamaha. I don't really know which one to pick. But uh, there's four bikes in each each one. Uh, no, I don't really want to go for Honda. I'm kind of swaying towards Suzuki or Yamaha. But I'm thinking Suzuki just because I like Suzuki. So that's what we're going to go for. There's our bad boy. Tell you what, the light reflecting off the bike looks really nice. Okay, so that's just tutorial stuff. So what we need to do is turn the racing music off. That's one of the first things I ever do in uh, racing games is turn the race music off because I don't want to be racing with disco music happening in the background. I just want the sound of the bikes and the crowd and that kind of stuff. So we're going to get a single player and we're going to start our career. So we go. FIM Motocross World Championship. I wonder if we're going to go straight into it or are we going to be doing some wild cards? Usually. Oh, hang on. Yeah, we're going to be doing a couple of wild cards. So we need to select a sponsor. Okay. Oh, we've got three to choose from. They're all exactly the same, apart from obviously name. I'll go for this one. Yeah. Okay, so we've got social media on the right. Now the bits and bobs on the left. What's compound? Oh, hang on. Let's go to race options. There we go. Let's change all this stuff. Nope. Oh. I want to know what compound is. Press the wrong button. Right. Sort this out. Physics. We're going to go pro. We're going to go manual. We'll keep rewind on just for the purpose of whatever the hell compound is. Let's go see what this is. Okay, here we go. Oh. 
I think this is like a, a little free roaming thing you can do. It is a little free roaming section. That's pretty cool. Okay, here we go. We've got pro physics, we got manual gears. This is uh, my first ever play on MXGP3. So I'm not expecting a huge amount. I'll probably suck pretty bad. Job <laughs> That dear deformation. Dirty deformation. Oh, fuck, wrong button. <laughs> that was definitely the wrong button. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, that scrub didn't work. But we've got an achievement for using a rewind, even though I pressed the wrong button. And we got an achievement for crashing. Lovely. Okay. Wow. It's feeling pretty good. The bike feels actually so much more nimbler than what the, uh, the previous games did. Like I said, I've only ever played the demos of MXGP 1 and 2 um, and couldn't really get on with them. Oh, we landed a scrub, but not too well. Now we're stuck. There we go. Oh, right, come on. Yeah, but like, bike handling feels quite... It was pretty good. Sounds pretty good as well. It looks a lot better than the uh, previous MXGP games. Oh, and you really need to sort my scrubs out though. Because I'm struggling to land. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> How the fuck did I stay on there? Oh, there's a... What's down here? What's another track? There's quite a big open area you got going on here. No. Oh, no. <laughs> I really need to work on my scrubs. That's pr pretty good, though. You have your little own area that you can practice, practice your scrubs or practice whatever. Just practice getting along with the bike. I like that. You can just come in here, mess around. It's pretty cool. So bike does feel really nice to use. Shall we try um, first person? That's the wrong button. How do I change the Oh, there we go. First person. Oh. Oh, oh god, no. That doesn't feel too good. Um. No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't think first person um, is for me for this game. I think we'll need a lot more practice of first person before we actually use it properly. Oh. Well, we landed a bit of a scrub. Okay, well that will pretty much do for the compound. So let's go on and do our very first race in MXGP3. Right, let's sort out these uh, things. I think we're going to go balls deep in the deep end. We're going to... Let's do qualifying and races. So we've got two races per uh, round. We're putting the AI on realistic. And we're going to turn rewinds off. So that is it, we're going really in the deep end here. Turn everything off and uh, the AI are on realistic. So here we go, we're going to do a bit of qualifying. So one thing I will say about this game is the loading times are pretty, pretty long. Um, it does seem to get stuck on 5% for about 20 seconds and get stuck on 10% uh, as well before it starts going up rapidly. Um, but other than that, this is actually pretty good and pretty fun. Yeah, we landed a scrub. I'm enjoying my time with MXGP3 at the moment. It's not as difficult as I thought I was, it was going to be. I was expecting myself to struggle quite a bit. This is our first ever proper lap we're doing. Yeah. 
Yeah, another one landed. I do like the way that the uh, the dirt deforms as you ride over it, or other riders ride over it. Of course, I don't know any of these tracks whatsoever, so it's going to be a massive, massive learning curve for me. But hopefully, we'll get there. We haven't gone off track yet, which is pretty good. It just goes to show how good the handling actually is. Because in MX uh, GP 1 and 2, I was pretty much off the track at almost every corner. Then send that. I can't remember what physics I was using in the demos. Pro physics feels good. Manual gears, I'm definitely going to have to get used to. The buttons are all a bit, a bit funny. Because to look behind you, you have to press the Y button. Move your camera around, you have to use a D-pad, but that's a bit awkward to do that because obviously you've got your right analog stick for your um, rider movement to uh, put his body weight forward or back, and obviously both analog sticks in the air to do a scrub. But of course, with MXGP3, you haven't got to wait for the scrub animation to finish before you can actually land it. Uh, you just put the analog sticks in the opposite direction to uh, to land it. So we're actually 12th at the moment, which isn't too bad. At least we're not dead last. So we try and get a better lap in on this one. Got two riders just up ahead of us. Go. The inside of him. Nope, didn't work. Oh, sorry. And the, the good thing about the uh, the dirt deformation as well is that uh, the ground is pretty much going to be different every lap because the more people that go over it, the more little ruts, the more bumps you're going to get into it. Um, on one one lap, I noticed that there was quite a big bump going into uh, into one of the corners, but when quite a few riders went over it, it flattened out, and vice versa. You go around a corner one lap and uh, it's nice and smooth and then you go around at the next next lap and it's really bumpy so it does add another dynamic to the racing as well which is really nice it means that not only are you uh, fighting the AI you're going to be fighting the track as well trying to get the best possible line and of course trying not to crash as well but I'm impressed with MXGP3 I have to admit I wasn't expecting myself to have this much fun with it at the moment. And of course, we're only 12th at the moment in qualifying. Oh, and that's qualifying done. I don't think we got any higher. So 12th place it's looking like at the moment. Yeah, we got 12th. So this could be quite an interesting race. Hopefully we can get some points. Like I said, this is a wild card. And then we've got one more wild card after this. So we have to wait and see how this goes. It's just telling us about our uh, points and uh, our skills, which go up a bit like uh, Valentino Rossi the game. Okay. Right then, it is time to start the race. We're starting in 12, but obviously that doesn't really matter too much because we'll start in exactly a single file line. Well, not a single file line, but you know what I mean. We're all side by side. Let's try and do this. We've got to wait for the get. Really bad start for me there. We've, we're down to 19th, 20th. Oh! We've made up quite a few positions in the first corner. We're up to 10th. No, we're not. We're up to 7th place. So we try and fight our way bit further ahead. I don't know where I'm really expecting to finish. I'm hoping at least, well, more than anything, definitely a top 10. But, I mean, we're fifth at the moment, so there's no reason why we can't at least get fifth. Maybe, as we take some nice tight lines. We're up to third run. 
the maybe we're on the no, we're not on the podium now because fourth place has come past. So, oh, that was a good landing on the back wheel. Got some good drive. This seems to be my strongest part of the section, uh, the trackless section. We're in third. We are on the podium at the moment. I tell you what. There's no reason why we can't go for the win here. Let's try and get underneath both of them. And we've gone into the lead already. No, we haven't. Stop lying. Well, we're second, but the leader is right there. We are right on him. I do find myself trying to use a slightly higher gear sometimes coming out of some corners just to get some grip. But we're in the lead. We are legit in the lead. We're on lap number two. We are leading the pack. I don't know what our lead is. That's uh, another thing is that you don't get any split times or anything. Which would be quite handy to have. But I will try and uh, look behind me at some point. It is quite awkward having... Uh, can either look behind you with the D-pad or the Y button when you're obviously trying to change gear and that. You don't really want to be doing that. We just concentrate on what's in front of us at the moment. But I can't really hear anything directly behind us. I can hear other bikes. That's just as the uh, the track is kind of close to itself. At the moment, we are leading. We're in our strongest section. Let's see... No, not, not yet. Coming up to the uh, start-finish line. I think we've, act we've actually got a pretty decent t uh, lead at the moment. There's a start-finish line. So we've got one more lap to go. And we are still in the lead. Go a bit wide. Doing a lot better than what I was expected. I mean, I was struggling in qualifying after the met. I mean, 12th place. 12th out of 22. We are, of course, in the MX2 uh, class. Not the full-blown MXGP class. We're feeling good. I'm enjoying this. I mean, it definitely helps that uh, we're in the lead, but this is a lot of fun. Beat the AI pretty much. Beat them into submission. my favourite section of this track. I'm sure there are going to be uh, other tracks which are going to be really difficult. Um, I expect the wildcard tracks are probably maybe two of the easier tracks. But I actually quite like this track. It feels pretty good. Like I said, the, the bike handling is, is really nice. I like me, if you're a noob or MXGP, you can really get into it, even on the uh, the more difficult settings. So we won our first ever MXGP race with uh, Pro Physics manual gears and with the AI set on realistic. We won by 4.4 seconds. And now it's time for race two. So each round consists of two races each. There we go. Oh, that was an even worse start than before. I thought I had it in gear, but I didn't. But we made up loads of places already. <laughs> We're up to 10th place. So we make up loads more places. We're already up the 4th after that appalling start. Can we get Jeffrey? 
Not at the moment. Obviously, the more I play the game, the better I'm going to get at it. At the moment, we're already beating the AI. Third place, fourth place. Oh, he's fighting. He's fighting with us. He's pushed us back to fourth. Scrub it up, dub. We're back up to third. Trying to stay in third. I think we just about got him. May even get second there. Yes, we do. Well, that's a good landing. Nicely on the back wheel. Because like every lap I'm doing around these tracks, I'm going to be learning the tracks every lap. I'm not entirely sure about the gears, whether I'm in the right gears or anything, but it seems to be working at the moment. But what, one thing I've noticed, which is quite good, is that trying to find the braking markers and that is actually uh, I seem to be able to to kind of almost not guess where they are, but kind of. I can feel where I should be braking if I need to brake, of course. Some corners you don't need to brake, you just need to get off the throttle. But the ones that you do need to brake, it kind of... It's almost like you know where you're, you're meant to brake without having to uh, practice too much. It's not like, um, say like MotoGP, where you, you need to get a specific braking marker, otherwise you're going to go off track. Um, and you need to kind of learn where that is. With this one, you just... I, I haven't gone off track because I've braked too late or I haven't cut a corner because I've braked too early. Um, I seem to be able to take it as it comes and it doesn't seem to matter too much about your line through a corner as long as you get um, a good run through it and uh, good momentum through it and you can carry it around the corner. Obviously, some lines are going to be better than others, but like I said, with, with the braking, it's kind of it just comes naturally. You kind of naturally know where you should be coming off a throttle or that. It's it's hard to explain, but like with, with previous MXGP games, I was I mean, I, I struggled big time with them. Um, I said not only just the, the handling of the bikes themselves, but with it with the braking and that. But on this one, it it all comes together really nicely. We are in the lead again. We are on the final lap. It took us a bit longer to get into the lead this time. I'm going to set again. I'm really enjoying my time with MXGP3. Pleasantly surprised, you might say. But I'm actually having a hell of a lot of fun with it. Oh, we've lost the lead! Because we balls that corner up, we've lost the lead and we are on the final lap, so we've got back underneath them. So it's not over yet. Lane over to the fat lady sings. Need to keep going. And the other good thing is that the AI don't all take the same line as well. They do take different lines pretty much at every corner, which is, is quite nice to see. There's nothing worse than seeing the AI just go single file, all taking exactly the same line. So far, so good with MXGP3. Definitely gets a thumbs up from me. I'm coming to the end of the final lap, and I think we're okay lead-wise. I don't think we're going to get overtaken again. This is our first wildcard event. We've won the first race. And second race, it's looking like we're going to win that as well. There's the line. Scrub over it. There we go. Two race wins on our wildcard event. Wasn't expecting that. The AI didn't seem to go as quick in qualifying. Or maybe I just picked the pace up. I'm not entirely sure. Like I said, I was struggling in qualifying down in 12th place. But we've done it. Two race wins, more reputation, more skill points, wonderful. I'm looking forward to some of that dynamic weather racing. 
that's going to be quite interesting if we get to some of them at some point. Or maybe even just doing a wet race, but... Okay, we need to pick a sponsor for the next race. So let's do that, because obviously this is our second wild card. I think we'll just go... Let's just go with the same same sponsors. Right, I think we should look at customization now. So we'll go with uh, Rider first. You've got so much you can choose, like helmet, goggles, your actual um, racing overalls. It's quite nice. Your boots, there's loads of boots to choose from. And of course, neck brace as well. You can have or you can have off. And then bike. We'll just go with this Suzuki because that's what we've got. You've got like different uh, sticker decals to choose. There's like loads of stuff you can do color wise. And of course, you've got your uh, upgrades as well. So you can do like uh, the exhaust, the tires, the wheels. But yeah. Impressed with MXGP3 so far, guys. And that is it from me for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more content. I shall see you guys in the next video. See you.